What we're going to be doing today is uh, simple interest. And the main thing that we want to think about with simple interest is that it's going to be like a stepping stone, right? It, it's sort of the building block for, for everything else. Okay? Um, and what simple interest is, is just taking the idea of a percent and adding a time component to it. Okay, so um, let's suppose that, you know, I want to borrow money from you and, you know, I say, okay, you know, I'll, I'll give you back the money with interest. Maybe I'll pay you 10% interest. Okay, whether or not I pay you tomorrow or I pay you 10 years from now sort of makes a difference, right, to you, right? Being out your money for one day is not a big deal. Being out your money for 10 years, right, that, that, that is a big deal, right? So if you were going to lend your money out for 10 years, you would want to be compensated more so than lending your money out for one day, right? And that's the idea of, of interest, right? We want to add a time component to a percentage. Okay, so um, that that's that's what our our main idea is. Interest is a percentage with a time component. Okay, so what we're going to do when we look at interest is we're going to say, okay, um, we want to figure out how much of the interest we're going to charge, okay? And so what we do is we say, um, when we take a percentage of, you know, we multiply, we'll just throw an extra factor in there for time, okay? All right, so here's our simple interest formula, I equals PRT, okay? where I is the interest amount, P is the principal or starting amount, so if we were borrowing money, P would be the amount that we borrow, R is the interest rate, and T is the amount of time, okay? Now, one thing that I want to note with interest rates, okay, they're typically given as an annual rate, Okay. So that's something that, to keep in mind. The percentage rate R is generally given as an annual rate. So when we say something like 5% interest, that means that if you were to borrow for exactly one year, we would just charge 5%. Okay. Um, right. The other thing to keep in mind when we talk about interest, I is going to be an interest amount in dollars, R is an interest amount as a percentage. So it's important to sort of keep straight the ideas. Uh, otherwise, you know, we'll, we'll put numbers in the wrong spot. Okay, so let's look at an example. Um, let's suppose a friend asks to borrow $300 and agrees to repay it in 18 months with 14% um, simple interest, right? Where that's an annual rate, okay? So what I do is I, I go to my problem and I identify what numbers I was given, right? Borrowing $300 is the P. The um, 18 months is the amount of time. So I can write that as T. Okay, here's the thing about time though, since the um, interest rates are given as an annual rate, it's usually easiest to make sure that my time is also in those same units, okay? So what we can do is we can say, all right, let's convert that to years, right? So my conversion, I want to multiply by a fancy form of one, and for my units, I want to end up with years and get rid of months. Okay, so one year and 12 months are the same. Okay, so this will cancel out my months, and then I have 18 divided by 12. Okay, you can leave it as a fraction or you can write it as a decimal. Okay, but we're going to be plugging numbers into our calculator, so decimals are, are probably convenient anyway, especially if they come out nice. Okay, if that was like one third years, maybe I would leave it as one third so I didn't have to deal with the repeating decimal. Okay, so that's our time, and then our rate is 14%. I'm going to write that as a decimal though. Okay, 
and the amount of interest I is what I want to find. Okay, so I think it's very helpful to be able to go through and identify what do you have in your problem and what is it that you're looking for. Okay, and then we plug in the formula, right? So our formula was I equals PRT. I want to find I. I say great. So we have 300 times 0.14 times 1.5. And I multiply those up on my calculator. And we get 63. Okay. So how much interest will you earn? $63. Okay, I want to expand on this problem a little bit. I want to ask another question that, that wasn't part of the original question. Um, how much does your friend have to repay? Okay, so they have to repay what they borrowed and also the interest, right? So the amount that they have to repay is going to be P plus I. So 300 plus the 63, so $363. Okay, nice job. All right, now there are formulas for the repay amount. You can actually build it in. And if you, you know, if you were to, to look it up, if I say, okay, uh, what's the amount that they have to repay? Okay, that's P plus I, and I is equal to PRT. And then I can do some fancy math work where I say, oh, both of these terms have a P in it, so I can factor it out. Okay, so we could get a formula for how much we have to repay. Um, but I don't want to dwell too much on simple interest formulas because I really want to think of it as a stepping stone. Okay, um, when you go out in your life and you borrow money from like banks and stuff, you, you don't ever use simple interest like this. And if you go to buy a car, sometimes they say, oh, we're going to compute things using simple interest. What they're really doing is compound interest, though. It just um, things are arranged funny. So simple interest isn't really something that you ever really see used directly. Um, you might, you know, like I said, if you're borrowing from a friend, that, that would make sense because it's it's very simple. There's nothing complicated about it. Everyone knows, knows what's going on. Okay. But if you go to banks and stuff, you, you won't you won't really see this. 